All right, YouTube, you airsofters out there. I play airsoft as well, and I want to share my gun. And it might not be special to you, but for me it is. Pretty much, I got the KWA M4 carbine. M4 for short. But what I like about this M4 is it comes upgraded out of the box. 400 FPS out of the box. Come on. You can't buy a Tokyo Marui for like 300 bucks and it's like 400 out of the box. No, I gotta do all those upgrades. But I'm not hating on Tokyo Marui because I love Tokyo Marui too. You got an F1 high cap up there. But I just don't like the plastic bodies. And I want something that feels real. Just like this M4 right here. It's a real scale, seven pounds, somewhere around that. I don't know the exact specifics about it, but you're probably wondering why sh I got a, a normal foregrip. And the reason why I get that normal foregrip is it's Classic Army. I got nunchuck batteries, 2200 mAh, 2200 mAh. It would just be a hassle if I had a rail system, RIS, because I won't be able to use my nut truck batteries, and I got a crane stock that I don't even use, just for looks, retractable. So, and I got a flashlight, see, look at that, doesn't that hurt, doesn't that hurt your eyes? <laughs> Pretty much, I like this gun. Um, Hands down, the best AEG I've ever shot. One of the best. I mean, it's not the best. Nothing is the best, but I'm just, you know, emphasizing how much I like this gun. Because I've been playing Airsoft for a year now, and so far, no major problems happen to this gun, except for the gearbox. Except for that switch selector that cr cracks apart from the gearbox. And that's a major ass to fix. But other than that if you're a good technician and you know good technicians who can fix that for cheap this gun is a beast I got a rectical sight it has four different rectangles one two three four different rectangles and I cannot show you that right now because one my camera sucks it's built in it doesn't suck but I mean it doesn't have the high megapixels to show you exactly what I see and what's cool about it, it has green it's green and red isn't that sick green and red <laughs> I like green I like red but anyway I'm being a little dorky and I like this feature right here okay see how that opens up you see how that opens up right there look at that charging handle opens up to reveal the hop-up system but you gotta hold back the charging handle to reveal the hop-up system and to adjust it. So it's probably a bad idea to hold it back and close it while adjusting it, because then it will little it will bite your little fingers. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, yep. That's all I got on mine. I keep it light. I put all this stuff on it, but took it off because I kind of you know like the Call of Duty looking. Except without the RAS. Sorry. I'm apologizing. But anyway. Oh yeah, my KWA mag broke. I guess I wanted it too much. It's my first mag. I got too excited. Trigger happy. So I got Classic Army High Kappa. Fits perfect in there. I mean, it's snug. I don't know how. To, it's just a snug in there. I mean, look at that. The snug. I got the Magpul. I went to airsoft store and <laughs> I wanted Magpuls for my M4. And I guess I asked them. I asked for them the wrong way because I I went up to the clear glass box where they display stuff and I'm like, oh, I know those are M4 Mag Magpul, you know. Pulleys, mag pulls. I wonder if that's what the reason why they call it mag pulls because it's easier. 
to pull your mag out with these little pulleys. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm like, oh, can I get those green ones or OD? Cause I, you know, I like green and OD. And I didn't realize that until later, until I went home and tried them on, it was too big. You can tell it's too big. So I had to wrap, like, I don't even know, but I wrapped around, a, oh, man, a myriad of tape, okay? And it's kind of a hassle first, but who cares? It's there now. It won't come off. And also, I bought a box that contained eight. 100 rounds, 110 they say, but I guess it only holds up 90 because of the spring. I guess you need to wear it out a little. And all I did was get black gorilla tape, shoelace. I numbered them just because I'm picky like that. I want everything in order. It's number five currently. And shoot 100 rounds or 80 to 90. 80 to 80 to 80 to 100 rounds without having to wind so and I got last time I cornered this was around 390 it's decent it's pretty decent I mean most of the games that we play at has a limit of 400 FPS with 0.2 ground BBs and so what's the point if you're gonna upgrade your gun up to like what 500 and not be able to play at those arenas right unless you have your own private lot that makes total sense, right? Like, I you know. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if EFRT has that rule, but I'd be crazy if someone shows up with 700 and you got a 400. And it's not impossible to have a 600 FPS gun. I've seen it. 300 spring and 300. But you gotta you gotta make a lot of upgrades to your gearbox and stuff like that, and just a hassle. Anyway. Well, that's it. Damn, I talked for like seven minutes, and I hope I'm hoping you can use this video as a reference. And if you have any questions, ask me because I am a proud consumer of KWA M4. Of a KWA M4. Thank you.